The primary and secondary coil apparatus allows students to investigate how an electromagnet works, solenoid, as well as electromagnetic induction and transformers. The apparatus comes in three distinct pieces. The large outer coil, which has connections for different number of turns ranging from 500 to 1500, a solid core to make an electromagnet, and a smaller primary core which has 175 turns. The wire on both of these are different. The smaller primary core has 18 gauge wire. The large electromagnetic core has 26 gauge wire. The primary secondary coil allows you to do a variety of experiments. One of the most basic ones is to take the primary coil and attach it to a DC power supply and I have the iron core removed and all I'm going to do is place some compasses on the end and turn the power supply on. You'll notice that the compasses do move because a current does create a magnetic field but when I insert the solid core making this an electromagnet you get a much stronger response if you wish to demonstrate how a step up or step down transformer works, you would connect the voltage to either the top coil to be a step up transformer, or you connect a power supply to the bottom coil to be a step down transformer. The bottom coil, the larger coil, has a common connector, and then three other connectors to give you either 1500 turns, 1000 turns, or 500 turns. Here's the setup for demonstrating a step-down transformer. So I have the top two posts going to a multimeter, and I have a 12-volt AC power supply connected to the bottom. I have the common connector on the red post, and all I'm going to do is move this around to different coils. So this is 500 coils on the outer primary coil. This is 1,000. And this is 1,500. Here's the setup for a step-up transformer. So I have the top going to a 12-volt AC power supply. Here is 500. Here is 1,000. And here is 1500. The primary secondary coil is a core demonstration in teaching our engineers of tomorrow. Not only is it very useful in teaching about electromagnets and solenoids, but also how transformers work as well. The posts make the connections very easy to use a multimeter or any power supply. And the variety of different coils and turns on the larger coil make this a very versatile demonstration for your lab.